With API key authentication, the client sends the API key on each request. When the server receives the request, it looks up the API key in the database. The API key identifies which user is making the request. This is a very common way to authenticate APIs. There's no problem authenticating an API in this way. However, there is a popular alternative method of API authentication that has some advantages when it comes to scaling your application. With this API key method, we're using the value of the API key to look up the user record in the database for every single request. This is in addition to any database queries we're making to retrieve resource data. For an API with lots of requests, this might not scale easily. So one alternative to API key authentication is to use access tokens. Authentication using access tokens works like this. The client sends a request to a login endpoint, passing it login credentials like a username and password. If these credentials are valid, the server responds with an access token. This access token is an encoded string that contains the user's data. Once the client has the access token, it sends it along with the request to the API for a resource. The API decodes the token and retrieves the authenticated user's details. If it's a valid token, the API sends back a successful response. The access token contains the user information, so we don't need to look it up in the database. This way, we're not checking credentials against the database on every single request. In addition, you could have separate resource and authentication servers, which would scale more easily. Basically, the main point of access tokens is that they can be used without database validation.